All right, y'all. I am in my car. It should take me about 32 minutes, 36 minutes to get to the airport. I just put in my map and everything. I do use the GPS to drive, guys. I'm, I'm still not used to it yet, but. <laughs> But yeah, your girl is checking out. Um, I will try and get something in between, but if not, I will see you guys. At least when I get to the employee parking lot, and then also from there, I'll take a shuttle to the airport. to you guys live from the employee parking lot oh my hair is messed up yes yeah, so i am coming to you live from the employee parking lot i finally got my passport i know i mentioned in one of my videos that i don't have my passport yet and as a resort when i'm on reserve i I have not or cannot be called for airport standby. But fortunately or unfortunately, I did get my passport back and I was assigned, I did start a three day, a day for today, which is today, Saturday. So it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I was assigned yesterday, crew scheduling came calling and they assigned me airport standby between 10 30 a.m to 2 29 p.m and um yeah your girl reported to work yes we did so i showed up i did a few edit in here and then i actually maximized my time really well like this is my first time doing it so i can't really i i, I can't I, I can't say i hate it i don't because i utilize my time like i said I create content, so any downtime that I have, I'm editing videos that I can schedule and stuff like that. So I did edit a video, um, a full video that should be going out. It will be about flight attendant training study tips. So please watch out for that. I'm sure that's gonna come out before this video. I edited videos and like I was saying before, I got really interrupted by the camera. I think so far, this is my first standby and it's just been one day, but I'm liking the standby because one I'm at the airport so if I do get assigned a trip while I'm on reserve I'm ready to go it's just a matter of getting to the gate so I like it for that reason secondly even though I'm at the airport if I'm not on a trip or I haven't been assigned a trip I'm just there and I can use that time to do anything at all and one of the things that I do do is edit my videos or my content and pre-schedule them ahead of time so the time for me personally does not go to waste but if you're somebody who doesn't do anything online or virtual or has nothing going on but just to sit down and wait then it feels like waste of time and also for commuters as well if they're not used then it means they're stuck there and then they probably have to find a place to sleep for the night and then continue their set of eight days so as a local person i don't mind standby it's perfectly fine like i said i would rather be at the airport at a certain time ready to work than to be at home to be cold to be expected to be at the airport at a certain time the energy is different the vibe is different because when you're at home you're rushing because you, you do have they give you two hours but Anything can happen on your way, but if I'm already there and I was supposed to be on standby, technically I haven't been assigned a trip yet. So if it's if anything should happen, I think the leniency in with regards to that might be different, even though it's all the same thing, but I hope you get my trip. I, it ended, um, right now I'm going home, it's over. I called for my release and it's done. So this is my first airport standby on my first day of the three day block 8A um, or reserve days. I will keep you guys updated on what happens tomorrow right now when i look on our open time or on our board um trip board it's only showing standbys for the 12th there was nothing for the 11th but i think a few seconds ago two things popped up one was a three-day trip and then one was a one-day um, trip and because i've already exhausted today i won't be assigned a three-day trip unless even if i do i can opt out of it because it would work me into my off day 
I don't even know if I can opt out. Don't know yet. I'm new, still figuring things out. But I only saw two trips there. And I know a lot of people who are commuters are trying to work so they can maximize their time here because they commute. So I I don't pre I, I didn't preference anything. I'm not going to preference anything as at, at all as well. Because there are people out there who really want to work and I'm local. I don't have to commute so they can have the trip. Plus, I have videos that are piled up anyway, so I might as well take advantage of the time to edit anyway. But yeah, so far it's been good. Day one is down, two more days to go on this three day block of eight days, and I will see you guys tomorrow. It is day two of my three day block, eight days or reserve. And as I spoke to you guys yesterday, I was on standby, and obviously, I reported yesterday was just too much. After my standby, I, I maximized the time. I edited a video and I, all that good stuff. But I just wanted something to eat, something different than my normal meal. And it was a struggle. I went to Qdoba. Apparently the Qdoba is in a military base where I am and I don't have, I don't, I'm not military. I don't have any, at the end of the day, I could not access Qdoba. Honestly, I should have gotten it from the airport when I had the chance. Because if, you're, if you've been to the Seattle airport, um, we do have a Qdoba in the airport, but it's after security. And our lounge at Seattle um, is before security. So I'm like, why go through security just to go get a meal when I can just get it outside of the airport? Big mistake. But that being said, I ended up going to Chipotle and I tried their burrito bowl for the first time and it was great. So no hard feelings. I do plan on getting back today as well. But yes, I, I, I digress. Today is day two of my three day block for eight days and I was used yesterday on standby. Today I wasn't used or so far I haven't been used. I was just called to report for a trip. It's a turn tomorrow with the report time of 6 a.m. So crew scheduling came knocking. And they assigned me a trip for tomorrow, which is my last day of 8 a And I do report tomorrow at 6. I did try to call to get a release so that I don't, my rotation doesn't get changed or I don't get rerouted or anything or reassigned anything. But I forgot that I had to wait till a certain time to do so, looking at the fact that I'm still on duty and my report time is tomorrow. So that's where we are. I have been assigned a rotation. I believe it's Seattle to Vegas, Vegas to LA, LA back to Seattle. It's not a bad trip. The credit hours is like 6.46 hours, but it's not bad because I do have service the first trip. Then the second trip is like, I think it's going to be expert service and then barely anything and then i think the last one i also have a little bit of service as well i think one one service yeah so it should be a good rotation it's just that there's so many there are two sits and the sits for me are quite long i mean i wish i only had one long sit and one short sit but that's what makes the day long because even though my report time is at six my release time is like 1933 but it's okay i'm on reserve and anything can happen to you on reserve so your girl is not complaining but yes here we are i am so glad i became a flight attendant like i am so happy i decided to become a flight attendant i couldn't have made this move any sooner because i do create content on the side and i literally on my reserve day while i'm getting paid to be on call i just recorded a video on me getting a new camera for this channel right now i'm recording on the old camera but that's the beauty of this job and I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, I got an icon camera so I unboxed it and I shared it with you guys where I talked about me creating content as a flight attendant as well. So we'll keep an eye on for that video. But yeah, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to eat breakfast because it's still early. I had a good sleep. <laughs> For somebody who's on reserve. That being said, the day continues. Back on eight days, and as usual, we just share my life with you guys, share my experience with you guys. So yeah, let's go get something to eat, and then I'll resume to editing videos and recording content and just scheduling what I can just to get ready for um, tomorrow. And I will touch base with you guys tomorrow. I'll try and get some shots for tomorrow as well. But if not, we'll probably just end up back in my humble abode. <laughs> 
<laughs> where I share content, where I report and give you guys an update of what happened on my last field preserve. I actually have plans for today. I was supposed to, a friend of mine who's also flight attendant with a different airline company had a trip assigned to her at the beginning of, at the end of last month or at the beginning of the month to come over to Seattle. And unfortunately she couldn't make it because the plan was that if I wasn't used today, then uh, while well, I was in while I was on reserve, then I'll just reach out to her. We can meet up and you know, interview her. Let you guys know, you know, I have her flight attendant friends too. I'm new in the business, but I can connect, you know. So I wanted to interview her. Actually, I might do a live with her where I interview her, ask her about her experience, how it's been so far, and also a little bit of information about the airline that she's working with because she doesn't work with the same airline that I do. So, but then it didn't happen. So kind of disappointed, but. We can always do a live. You don't have to meet somebody in person or see somebody in person to create content. So let me know in the comment section also if you guys are interested in that. She actually flies with another airline and outside of the United States and I really want her experience. That way, if you're watching me from all parts of the world, regardless of where you are, you can also look into that because even though you might not be able to work with the airline company in the US, you might have the opportunity to work with an airline company maybe in Dubai, uh, maybe in Qatar, maybe in Amsterdam, Europe, somewhere, in Middle East, wherever it is. So our opportunities are endless here. So yeah, I'll touch, I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow on my final day. In the meantime, in between time, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So my A-Day continues. Like I said yesterday on day two, I did get assigned a turn today on my last day of reserve, the three-day block at least. After this, I have two days off and then I have another three-day block of reserve. So yeah, we're gonna do a turn first. I think we're doing Seattle to Vegas, Vegas to LA, and then LA back to Seattle. Should be only one service and main cabin for this first trip and then for the second one it's going to be expert service and main cabin for sure and then the last one is when we have like the full complimentary service and then box meals and stuff like that so it should be a quick one there is about a total of almost six hours sit in between one is two hours and 20 minutes the other is three hours and i think 30 minutes or so the one in LA. So it should be a good day. There should be a good amount of rest in between. Port time today is at 610. So it's currently 420. I should get going by now. The employee parking lot is about 35 minutes away from my house. The airport is much closer, I think, I believe. Enough of the shenanigans. Let's get to work, guys. So I have my boiled eggs, then I take coconut water for hydration. Can't forget my accountable items, which is my wristwatch and my badge. Your girl is gonna be late. Cause if I get there, I need to make. We need to get gone, okay? <laughs> So I am currently at the employee parking lot right now. I'm about to step out, take the company shuttle, and then just go to work. Um, I hope it's a good trip. It's supposed to be a turn. I should be home by 9.33. So let's say by 8.30. No, I should be home by 7.33 p.m. So by 8.33, I should be home home. Where we park is close to the airport so we can see the planes take off and stuff like that or as they take off so or about to land so it's pretty it's a nice scene but yeah i'll see you guys when i get back meet you in the car by what eight o'clock p.m today okay peace out let's go to work
is hot in here. Okay, why is it so hot in Seattle right now? What, what's going on? Hey, <laughs> this is the end of my reserve. Remember in this video, you guys are definitely gonna see where I have been on reserve. And this was a three day block. If you're new to my channel with the airline company that I work for, um, we don't get put on like one month reserve or whatever. We just do six days every month until you, you get a seniority level that takes you off reserve completely. But if you do get assigned reserve or eight days in our case, um, it's six days total and you can either get a full six day block or you can get two sets of three day blocks. So this month I got two sets of three day blocks because our base did not have any full six day block. So that's what I got. And I just started one on Saturday, it ended today. Quick recap, the first day I was on standby and then also the second I wasn't used. And then on the second day I wasn't used at all. I was just assigned this turn. Um, which had three legs from Seattle to Vegas, from Vegas to LA, from LA to Seattle. That sounded like a lot. Yeah, three legs. <laughs> sounded more than three legs, but it was a pretty good flight. The first flight we had service, second one barely, it was 250 something miles. So no surprise on that, at least in the main cabin. Sorry guys, that plane was super close. I wish I got a shot of it. But yeah, I find I'm done with my turns. It's been a good day. Um, it was a good crew. We gelled really nicely. Everything went well. I enjoyed it. That's it, my eight days are over. I'm no longer legal to work anything right now. So in terms of credit hours, it's not really the best because it's only like six credit hours. But I am on eight days, so I guess I can't pick and choose what I get. So no complaints there. But above all, it was good. It was good. I do plan on creating a video talking about this month's schedule because what I showed you guys during my schedule reaction is not what I ended up with in the middle of the month or during the month. So I, I plan on recording a video where I show you guys the moves that I made and the reasons why I made those moves and stuff like that. Plus, I do want to share with you guys my bidding, the things that I bid for for July as well to see if I'm going to get it or not. So I might do a separate video talking about that or I might just add that information to my schedule reaction video and then we'll see what happens. But that being said, this is the end of my three day vlog, a day. Like I said, I started this vlog simply because I've never been on standby and since I just got assigned standby, I decided to share that experience with you guys. So I was only on standby once. But yeah, it is what it is. I am tired. Your girl is tired. I'm just going to go home, probably take a quick nap. No, I can't take a nap. The sun is out, but it's like literally 8 o'clock p.m. So I need to find dinner, get some dinner, and then um, watch some TV online and then um, go to bed. I might attempt to edit some videos today, but I have two days off and then I start another set of three-day, eight-day blocks. So this week is reserve week, essentially. So... Pray for me, <laughs> the drama of it all, but I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.